This is attorney Gina Colasin-Lozier with the law firm of Berger Singerman, and I have with me today Lauren Oleski, meteorologist from the CBS 12 News Team. We're here today to share some important information about hurricanes and the evacuation procedures that come along with hurricanes. Now, we saw during Hurricane Irma a lot of the impacts of both mandatory and voluntary mm -hmm. evacuations. I voluntarily evacuated to Atlanta and sometimes <laughs> second-guessed that decision because right. I was not in a mandatory evacuation zone. So can you give me a little bit more information as to who is responsible for making those decisions as to evacuate a certain area? So evacuation zones are set based off of the storm surge risk. That is it. You will be told if you need to leave or if you're supposed to be staying based off of if you live in a storm surge prone area, which is generally going to be those along the coast and along the intracoastal. Storm surge is the deadliest part of a hurricane. Um, that's where the most mm -hmm. fatalities occur. So evacuation zones are set solely on if your home will be impacted by storm surge. And when do those evacuation orders typically get issued? At least 48 hours out prior to a storm coming on shore because we need to make sure people have enough time mm -hmm. to pack up their belongings and leave, but which is also why we say it's important to have all of your hurricane supplies ready so that if you do have to evacuate and you only have two days to do it, maybe sometimes less, mm -hmm. you already have your things and you're able to grab it and head out. Right, absolutely. And I was wondering also, at what point is it not safe to be out on the roads or not safe to be putting shutters up on your home because of the winds or some of the early bands coming in? Once those winds pick up to tropical storm force, which is at least 39 mile an hour winds or greater, you should have everything already set um, in place. You don't want to be out when you know winds are, are up to 40 miles an hour, even more than that. Anywhere from 40 to 74 miles an hour, that's a tropical storm. And that's still strong, even though it's not necessarily a Category 5 hurricane, it's still very dangerous. So you want to make sure that you have your shutters and your supplies and everything in place at least I would say my own comfort level, 36 to 48 hours before storm pops up. And I think that's great advice for everyone because I can assume people shouldn't be up on their roofs securing right. their property with those, ty those type of winds coming through. Exactly. And in, in addition to, of course, listening to the officials in the event there is a hurricane, there's things you can do to protect yourself if you have to have an insurance claim. For example, it's really important to make sure you have a copy of your homeowner's policy, an accurate copy of the policy. So in the event you have to contact your insurance company, you'll have that information ready. And of course, you know, it's also important to inventory your home, take pictures of the exterior and the interior, and even your content. So if you do sustain wind damage, you'll be able to show that the damage wasn't there prior to the storm. So that's also things that I think are important for people to realize when they're dealing with not only the evacuations and keeping themselves and their family safe, but doing things to protect their property in the future as well. So, uh, you know, we, we hope that everyone listens to the officials in the event of an evacuation order and that everyone is safe, themselves and their family in this hurricane season. And we thank you for watching.